Hi Caesars, on today's video I am going to be attempting to make a marble soap. So as you guys know, teas are now going to be my thing for the year. I infused my avocado oil with herbs and now I'm introducing a new scent for the month of March, white tea and sage. If you follow me on Pinterest, my Pinterest board, I definitely, when I think of white tea and sage, I think of herbs, a sage color green, gold, silver, and then I also think of marble. There's not too many marble soap videos. I did look them up. Soap and Clay, I believe I found two of hers. The part I'm worried about is cutting because I have to cut it horizontally. Not too many videos on those either. I'm definitely winging it here. And I want metallic colors to come through the soap. So if you ever want to attempt the marble soap, attempt it with me, because here I go. So of course, I'm going to start off by pouring in my lye water solution. And I want it at a very light trace, but I don't want false trace. So I kind of just want to make sure it's all incorporated. I'm not gonna put titanium dioxide in here just because I know that my mix is white enough. So I'm gonna separate this. I don't have a green soap, so I wanted to use a green color for this. And this is already color and I have mixed in the light oil already. Now the issue I have is that I know that my formulation it, it accelerates fast. So, um, not sure how the fragrance oil is gonna behave, but you know, I'm gonna hope for the best. And if it thickens up on me, it thickens up. I mean, there's nothing I could really do. I'm gonna split it off into here. I'm gonna do like an in the pot swirl with this color. I'm only gonna do one spin around. I want it to be mostly white, but have that green in there. Not sure how this is gonna work out, guys. I watch so many videos on techniques. Everybody has something different that they do. And I wanted more of a metallic look in mine. I don't want the colors to get muddled, so. Ooh, let's see how this goes. I'm kind of just going to swirl it around. Okay, maybe it's too fluid. I'm trying to do as thin of lines as I can. Just do the rest of my batter. And uh, if you watch Mrs. Soap and Clay, they actually did this with a thicker batter and it worked. So you don't necessarily need a thin batter. I'm just choosing to because I know with my recipe, like I said, it accelerates. I'm gonna go in here where I don't have green that much. Kind of making a mess, but it's all right. So I'm gonna let it cure for 72 hours. Now that is the longest time I've waited to cut a soap, but because of the extra oil in there, I wanted to have time to seep into it. And yeah, we'll come back in three days for the cut. Okay, so it's been 72 hours and I'm gonna unmold this guy. doesn't seem too soft. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of pre-score this. So what I did was pre-score it so I can attempt to cut this evenly straight down. So the goal is to cut this horizontally. So 
So I'm just going to cut off a little slab from the end. So I cut off a little end piece here and oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. And look at the marble inside. Definitely, definitely came out better than I thought it would. So at first I thought I used too much colorant maybe. How cool is that? Okay, so we are gonna speed up this cut because I definitely butchered it. I didn't cut straight. It was definitely crooked all types of things, whatever went wrong can go wrong with the cutting. But my soap is not at a loss. I still got the beautiful marble effect from it. So what I'm gonna do is just trim it up, clean them up nicely and evenly, and sell them as mini bars. And then all the little pieces that I have from actually trimming my soap down, I am going to cut those up and use those as samples. I have a scent of the month club that I do and each one of them are gonna get samples before they actually get their scent of the month box sent out to them. Even though this didn't come out as I envisioned, they're still fantastic. I will definitely do a three-dimensional color if you're going to attempt this. I did use one color too many. I think for what I envisioned, I needed to use a different spout like my spout was too skinny for three different colors i will be attempting to redo my design for the scent in the month for march so that will be on another video i hope you guys learned something from today's video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one